So Chubby Jag was supposed to be on RBE Straight to the Point, uh, a, a private event that's going to be streaming live. So what RBE is doing is they're they're doing and they already they already recorded an event, and next Saturday they're going to stream it live on pay per view. I'm guessing, and then you get a VOD as well. So it's like straight to the point. It's it, so it's like the, the reverse. Of what normally is done in battle rap. So instead of watching it live. And like that. They, they do it first. They actually did the face offs after the battles. Which is a little bit weird. Where their battles are talking about their battle after the battle. Um, this might be some way to circumvent. Like getting URL battlers on there. Or something. So they don't even know about it until afterwards. I don't know. So it can't get blocked you know. But regardless of the fact. You know it's interesting. It's interesting. We'll see how it plays out. Um, let me know if you guys are going to pay for it, knowing that it already happened. Um, you know, and then, you know, we'll go from there. But anyways, Chubby Jag was supposed to battle Arsenal on this card, okay? Chubby Jag, the guy who has played, who played King of the Dots throughout that season, just was a disaster, just lying, always something happening, all right? Oh, every time right before the battle, this, that, and the other. Now, he's, he, he okay, he's supposed to battle Arsenal. Arsenal shows up, Chubby Jag does not show up. ARP goes on hip hop is real and, and just like just was very disrespectful to Jag and all this stuff. Jag just tweeted out, I'm gonna address the ARP situation later. I just want y'all to know a life changing opportunity happened happened for me that was bigger than the AR than the Arsenal battle that I had to take. So I took it. ARP has every right to be mad. But whatever, yeah, all right. This is gonna change my life. Like, bro, how you have? This has been like a running theme with you. How many life changing opportunities? How old are you, bro? Like, like, this is insane. You, sh all right. You know what's life changing? You not being a man of your word. When you sign on that dotted line and you tell someone you're gonna be somewhere, you be there. I have never went back on my word. When I tell somebody I'm going to do something, I do it. Even if there's another opportunity for me that's better, I just have to bite the bullet and not do it. All right, and 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 go with this because you got to be a man of your word. If you're not a man, if you're not a, if you don't, you, all you have is your word. If you don't have that, you have nothing. I highly doubt number one you're even telling the truth. And even if you are, all right, you should have bit the bullet. All right, and done the right thing. If you couldn't give these guys ample amount of time to to switch it up, because obviously it, it, it just looked like you just didn't even show up. Arsenal was there. Arsenal spit his bars to ARP. It was something crazy. And if this was the first time, whatever. The second time, whatever. This is this is now a running theme with you. All right, you are literally a true culture vulture. I don't. I hate when people call me the culture vulture, and I've taken nothing from this culture. Absolutely nothing. All I do is give my time and energy and everything. All right, I'm the antithesis of a culture vulture. You and people like New Jersey Twerk, we're going to talk about him in a second, are culture vultures. You take money from the culture and you don't care. You don't come prepared. You don't give fire performances. You come, you choke in, in, in Chork's situation. Chork just had a bat, supposed to have a battle this weekend, all right, uh, on Saturday. Fans were said that they saw him at the clubs where he was supposed to do the battle. They took, he was taking pictures with fans and then he no-showed the battle. He's going back to his old no-show Chorky ways. And these guys, they don't get called out for them being the actual culture vultures in this community. All right? They're the ones, the battle rappers who take money. All right? And, and don't do what they're supposed to do. Don't take this serious. They're the ones, bro. Not, not little low me. All right? This don't make me a culture vulture. All right? Your actions make you a culture vulture. And what you do make you that. So... This this should be a Chubby Jag, in my opinion, should be done with battle rap. Like there should be no more booking of Chubby Jag. It literally makes this should honestly, we've documented Twerk's four years of what he's done. There should have never been any more bookings of Twerk. Um especially after the 2021 he's had. His 2020 and 2021 are probably the two worst years a battle rapper could ever have for the amount of times he was booked. And the amount of moments he gave you or just perform and the, and the type of performances he gave you. 2020 and 2021 is the two worst years in battle rap history for one battle rapper. All right. Just ridiculous. Just the Drake choke. 
with 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 uh, Casey J, Swamp, J, Surf, uh, uh, Brandon. It just it goes the list go the reha to having to redo the Danny Myers battle. I think you guys forgot that they had to redo the Danny Myers battle because he choked the first time, and Danny let them do it. If you guys, anyone books Chubby Jag in the future, what he's done to King of the Dot, he almost destroyed their season single-handedly. He was literally trying to destroy their seasons, right? And what he's done now with RBE, all right, you're at fault. I can't even blame Chubby Jag anymore at this point. The leagues at some point have to take responsibility. And I, I with the way ARP was talking, I don't think he will ever book Chubby Jag again. I don't really think URL's touching Chubby Jag. And I know King of the Dots not touching Chubby Jag. So all you little leagues out there, if Chubby Jag uh, comes to you and says he'll battle on your league, just know there's a highly likely chance he will steal your money and not give it back. It is what it is. And then if you go read the comments on there, there's actual uh, uh, rapping artists that says they pay Chubby Jag for features. And he sends them recycled bars. He says the same he says the same verse on multiple songs. And the guy showed proof. He showed he gave links to the YouTube. To the YouTube where where Chubby Jack has like four different features and they're all the same verse. This man, he's a scam artist. Okay, he's a scam artist. What is he in his 40s? All right, and he's still like come on, man. Come on, man. I don't trust anyone who's who's, you know, in their 40s, I, yeah, you know, you gotta go. There has to be a point where you grow up. I know it's loved in this community and the gangbang culture and all that. You guys love it, but there's got to be a point where you grow up. You gotta grow up, man. You can't be gangbanging forever, okay? That's corny and weird and something I don't ever want to be around. I don't want to be around people like that, all right? Maybe y'all do. Maybe y'all love it and that's your culture and, and you guys can have it, all right? Just stay away from me. Stay away from me, and you, you, you're gonna look corny out here, especially when you're in your 30s, 40s, and 50s, and you're like, "Oh, come on, man!" And I ain't just talking; I ain't talking about Chubby Jack specifically here, but oh, 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 yeah, we we know. So let me know what y'all think. Are you gonna buy this RBE card? Are you not? Um, is it a good concept? Recording it and then doing the pay per view. Are you down with it? I, I, you know, it's interesting. You got you got Big K, J Mills. There's a few other battles on there. I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. It seems like a good card. Um, but Arsenal and Chubby Jag was supposed to be the main event. And that battle did not go down because Chubby Jag no showed. All right. And now he's acting like he's got this great opportunity because of it. Well, Karma's probably going to make that. If, if it's true. We'll, we'll assume it's true. I don't believe it. I don't believe it for one second. If you assume it's true... Karma will make sure that great opportunity fails you. Because when you screw people over time and time and time again, you can't escape that karma. Love you guys. Peace.